Hey everyone, it's Izumi. Welcome to Timeline. Or Timeline. It's a new indie puzzle game. I believe we get to play with time, you know, do some traveling and that sort of thing. But besides that, going in blind as normal. So let's get going. Oh, okay. Got it. He looks as confused as I uh, felt. Like, why are we waking up in this weird non-place? I think we can zoom in and out. Kind of drag around, see where we might want to go. I assume Definitely to that keypad. Okay. Let's go here first and see if that does anything. Maybe not. Can I click it? Ooh, I can't. Make her a bit of a longer path so we're not just click, 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 click. the menu. Got it. Huh. Hello, little spirit thing. to use power. Okay, nice. So that gave me like a rewind power, I think. Like since it's, you know, all about time, I don't think it's just like, oh, you can fix bridges power. I move right here. Can I click on this? No? Fine. I was really excited to see what that might be. Get this power. Power shard, maybe? Yeah, maybe we have to like collect so many to be allowed to actually like use our stuff. I see. I'm gonna say we could click it to open it, but then we're gonna be stuck in here, so. I like how it's just easing us into the puzzle solving. All right. Maybe it is a fixed stuff power. <laughs> Cause that's definitely, I don't think we saw it fall. Um, are you okay? Oh, you then woke up the sentry bot. It's gonna beat our tushy. We should probably leave. Okay, now I see why it might be beneficial not to take so many at once. That way we don't accidentally go through a path if they're like moving back and forth.
You know, if we're not allowed to be in this facility or whatever, why was our bed here? Oh, dang. I was going to say, wow, she's getting really lucky. But, uh. Okay. Oh, or drag. Woo. Wait, no. I was going to say, we probably want all that to happen because, you know, the bad stuff. And then click at feet to stop. Okay, cool. Need to wait. And do we click again? Oh, right. All right, I forgot we had our fix things power. Interesting. Base to execute. What are we executing? What are we doing? Uh. Oh, were we like pre-planning it? Okay. Interesting. That's neat. That's a really neat, like, way to do things. I wish I knew her name, though. Wait, I wanna... I wanna play with this shiny thing. I mean, we can go to the door, too, but... Ooh, all right, chapter one. You might want to be careful. Okay, observe the enemy. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We might. Do we need to. Op oh, shoot. Run. I was going to say, do we even need to. I don't know if we needed to open that. But I like... Okay. 
Let's go back. Yeah. All right, now let's let's definitely go here. But then we'll wait. Yeah, and let them do their thing, and we'll leave. Nice. And that should get us out. Alright, I definitely see where we could have saved a few seconds. Gotta be cautious, you know. Oh, you know what? I guess we could, like, fully observe the enemy and then plan our route. From here on out, we can do that, make it a little bit quicker. At least like on this replay, this replay part. I like how it zoomed in like, oh no, you almost got caught. Nice, okay. And so we continue. This looks easy enough. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Okay. First of all, I see that things gonna come out. Um, yeah, let's do some watching. Oop. I wanted to observe. Yeah, click to stand still. Good, good. All right, so they're gonna come out. They're gonna have a nice chat. They're gonna open the door for me. Ooh. Okay, but I will be able to... Okay, so let's go back to... No. Let's go all the way back. We can probably wait right here. Nope. No, we cannot. Ooh. Okay. X. We'll just stay right here. We'll let them do their talking and whatnot. And we will... I think we should be able to come up, yeah. Nope, too far, or too close. We will be able to do this, at least, as long as she stays and just waits for them, yeah. Do we want to maybe shut this just in case? <laughs> like, no, don't follow us. All right, now let's... This replay should go a little bit quicker, a little smoother. I think we're definitely more on it, getting the hang of it. I wonder what gave her the ability to like pre-construct and then like, you know, carry out the plans. All right. So let's go back to right here and try to like immediate. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Oops, right. You just stay there for a second. Right. Am I gonna have to wait? I might have to wait until all the way here. Ooh, okay, but I have to be there before 
So like... Right, like, right as they're doing that, I need to start running. I need to get... Okay, yeah. Little bit too late. I might be able to start here. I kind of want to see like how far I can go. Okay. So definitely I can wait here. Probably. Oops. Nope, that's one too far. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. We'll wait here. We'll let them do their thing. Really? Still too close? And then, yeah, as soon as he turns... Yep, because he's going, okay. And then we might have to follow back out. No, but we can probably, like, as soon as they're doing that, we can, oh, no, we can't. We're not gonna have time, oh, no. Close, dang. All right, now, I don't see a way that, like, just straight booking it there, definitely not the answer. But we can be, like, right beside, and even, right behind or like we can be within one tile but we can't actually touch oh actually what if So when we go in here, okay, I have to back up farther. When we go into the room, when he, does he look, oh, he does look back again. Crap, okay. Oh, but he doesn't after that point. Okay, so that's what I was missing. Do we need to be like, no, we need to have already been there. Got it. Okay, so back. We need to be like here. Let him do his final look. But when he starts to turn away, we need to be walking through the door. Let him leave and then follow him out. I don't know, I don't know why that was so complicated for me. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to like this last sequence. My bad. Anyways, let's watch it. What do we got going on on this floor? It looks like... I doubt it's going to be as simple as just leaving, so maybe let's just go ahead and watch what's going to happen. He's going to do a full scan. Oh, is that all he's going to do? Just back and forth scan? Alright, now I see the problem. Okay, so as soon as he does his full scan and starts to leave, let's get down here. Maybe that'll like... No. Oh, you know what? I, I got it. So we're gonna have to like let him catch us. Maybe and then trap him, right? 
Okay. So the thing is, he moves pretty quick. So as he's running away, let's get here, maybe? Let's get here. And then immediately rush this. No, it's too quick. Okay. Crap. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Let's get past it. Stand here. We should be able to show up on its scan. Yep. And as soon as it notices us... Right? Does it notice us? Yeah. As soon as it, like, peeks up, we go here and we hit the button. Oh no. Wait, really? It's still too quick? I, don't, I just don't know if it'll notice us if we're already, like, on the button. Or is that when it noticed us? Like, can we go ahead and... Perfect. Nice. Okay. And then immediately... Nope, we're too slow. Okay. So, like... I assume... Like, let's get it pre-programmed. Oh wait, no, I have a better idea. Let's just already have that door shut. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making this all complicated. Okay. So we'll go here. Make sure this one's shut. Let it go. Let it come back for its second round. I'm like, as soon as it's doing its thing, we'll go in here, we'll trap. Oh, we did it wrong. That's fine. As soon as that part happens, it's noticed us. And then we'll wait. Close it. And then we say, Hi, Nora. It can, it can be in there and it can scan all at once. It's not getting out. Nice. Oh, wait, yeah, no. Let's not just stand there for like eight years. Let's actually... Get to the door and leave. <laughs> Might have been able to clean up that time wise, but that's fine. I like how it doesn't like go into berserk mode since it saw us. It just kind of stops. Like, oh, never mind. Must have been fine. Are you really going to go through the vent? There's a perfectly good door right there. Oh, it's a kitty cat. Oh, kitty cat doesn't like us. This was not part of my timeline. Okay, we're gonna have to, we're going to have to grab that so we can fix that. I just don't know if I'm supposed to be like, Using these vents or not? Probably. Oh, it's gonna chase the kitty cat. Okay. And then it's gonna... Okay. So we'll be safe, I think, if we're, like, right here-ish. But I think right there would be seen. Let me see where... Yeah. Alright, we'll be safe here. And then when he does this scan... As long as we're... 
And as he starts going, as long as we immediately go, we should be fine. Gonna scan again. Oh, and then he's gonna come back for us. Okay, so we need to go this way as he's doing his scan, probably. And then run around. Just kind of stay out of sight. Nice, okay. That one wasn't too bad. Thank you, kitty cat. You're very helpful. You think this girl we're playing was some kind of experiment? And that's why she can, like, control the flow of time and rebuild broken things? I'm wondering if this is going to be, like, an open-to-interpretation kind of story, or if as we go we're going to get more and more facts. Ooh, like we might be about to find out. Lady. Diamond. Soul. Gun. Door. Locker? Three? Uh, there's too many symbols. Gonna be honest? <laughs> I'm already- I forgot most of them. Like Lady Diamond Skull, and then from there. Yeah, let's definitely pick up this and get what might be a new power. Oh, nice. That was cool. So it just kind of messes with time even more. Do I need to do anything with it right now? Oh, it will open up this power to get this one. But I'm thinking... Actually, that might be fine. No, because then we're going to have to come... Either way, we're going to have to come all the way back here. So let's go ahead and just do that right now. Oh, wait. It's fine. Yeah, we'll be able to go down here and get the power. And then... We're going to have to walk into this room. Let's see how this works. Yeah, so we can probably definitely be down here and then try to oh wait if we just stay here is it fine yeah he'll come back down we can go we can open this door wait to be let out which will involve him coming back down here um go get this power I know eventually we'll have to open the red door, but for now. Oh shoot, that puts us all the way back at the start? Interesting. So it's kind of its own redo in a way. All right. Rebuild this again. We don't need to hit the blue switch at all this time. And we can... Oop, just kidding. I was gonna say, we can probably just follow that guy around. Don't need to go that way then. Is he only gonna go back and forth? Interesting. Okay. He changed up his pattern a little bit. Alright, let's wait right here. Oh, he saw us. 
Let's go here and wait. Let him do that and then start going down. Doesn't he eventually go down? No? Right, yeah, no matter what, we have to get that part open. And then maybe he only goes down if that door is open. Maybe not. Maybe we can just go right here. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if we were going to make it in that little time gap or not. Perfect. I think it's funny that we open that door and stuff and he just doesn't care. He's like, nah, that door opens and shuts all the time. Okay, so we found a cage. That's not ominous at all. We've started the clock back up. We've been playing a lot of games with symbolism to clocks lately, haven't we? Do we have to, like, do this whole room in a certain time frame? No. No, it doesn't quite look like it. What's this? Collected relics? Alright, anyways. Guys, I believe that was the end of chapter one since we went in and we came out and we, we got the cage and everything. We are going to call this episode here, but stay tuned. I will definitely be doing chapter two, three, and four, it looks like, because it's two, four. I don't know if there's any, plus like the clock, right? Separated into four areas. Anyways, we'll definitely be finishing this game, so stay tuned. This has been Ismay. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I'll see you all soon for some more time traveling fun.